Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Camilla and today we're watching episode 7 of Band of Brothers, which is called The Breaking Point. If you haven't already, you should totally watch my episode 6 reaction, that which people are saying is my probably my best reaction so far. I have heard and read a lot of comments that is saying that this is probably the toughest episode out there. For me, I don't know yet. Episode 6 was the toughest one for me personally due to my profession and nursing and things getting too close to home with the whole trying to find the artery and losing the patient on the table. If you want to watch my reaction for that, it's it, yeah, up in the corner or it's linked down below. I want to say thank you to everyone that's being so patient about this. I want to say thank you for people just uh, taking their time with me. Remember that all of my full reactions are over on Patreon if you want to watch it. And if you would like to connect with me, you can find me on all social media such as Instagram, Twitter, Twitch and Discord. Everything is linked down below. Let's go watching episode 7, The Breaking Point. I've seen death. I've seen my friends, my men being killed. This is, it doesn't take too many days of that and you change dramatically. We was hungry, we had no food, we didn't have much ammunition, it was cold, we didn't have any clothes. You couldn't build a fire. If you build a fire, some crazy thing would shoot at you. Everywhere you would look, you would see dead people, you know, a dead soldier there, here, ours, theirs, then civilians besides yeah. dead. So death was all over. You don't have a chance when your friends go down, you know, to really take care of them uh, as you might, especially if you're in an attack, uh, moving or whatever. And uh, I withstood it well, but I had a lot of trouble in later life because uh, those events would come back and, and you never forget them. We're starting in 1945, January 2nd, in Belgium, okay. Right there. Hey, take it easy there. Stop crying, Malarker, I'll nail it to your head. Good, it's made of wood. <laughs> Take a platoon, let's go! I was glad to be out of my foxhole and moving again. Even if only to get warm. Hubler's running with the German officer on horseback was the most dramatic moment of the day. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you. Hubler had been talking about getting a Luger since Normandy. Yes. As we dug in, he went from foxhole to foxhole telling everyone just how he'd finally got one. What happened, the horse? I don't know. Probably still running. Hope it's okay. Give me a hand. Adder malarkey. Okay, what the hell is this? Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus, it's who be shot! Sniper! No, no, he he shot himself! What? Are you joking? He did what? What? Just what, just what, what happened? Just what happened? Just what happened? Curse like a son of a bitch! Gonna be fine. Well, obviously, you got a bullet in your leg. Uh, don't worry about it. You'll be alright, Hoop. You'll be alright, right. Stay there, Hoop. Doc. Doc. I hope you're joking. Wasn't like the Luger something he was supposed to give to his brother? By the time we got him to the aid station, he was already dead. Cut that main artery in the leg. That's that's it. True. Well, I'm gonna uh, go back and make sure the boys are all dug in, sir. Where's Dyke? You want to see him, sir? No, I just would have expected to get this kind of news from him. Oh, Winters. <sighs> During this show, I'm Where's just Dyke? turned into a winter simp. You know what Dyke's problem is, don't you? Hmm. He's just another one of those arrogant rich jerks from Yale. Oh god, not another one of those. <laughs> <laughs> we all agreed Buck Compton would have been the best choice to run easy if Winters mm -hmm. had been able to get rid of Dyke. But to be honest, Buck wasn't the same soldier he'd been before he got shot in Holland. He was more serious somehow. Even if you're dead, I'll still kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys later, alright? I'm gonna check on the other guys. Oh. George? Eh. Nothing stupid, Buck. <laughs> He's about to freeze to death, poor guy. Oh, I swam across the Niagara once. I swear. On a bet. I didn't go for the falls, George. I swam across the river. I got across. That's so stupid. I think it was all that stupid, but oh. uh, my mom, my sister Ruth, they gave me all kinds of hell. I think I'd give him hell too if that was my family member. I mean, for the swimming, obviously, not anything else. 
Congratulations, Lieutenant Peacock. I can't think of anybody who deserves this more. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, really glad that you're going home. Yeah. 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 Best news I've heard in weeks. Yeah. Hell perfect. of a guy. All Hell right. of a guy. All right, Nix, what do they got waiting for us in Foy? At least one company from the 10th Panzer Grenadiers dug in along here. They've also got uh, at least 188, although we haven't been able to spot it yet. Joe Toy had been at the aid station for three days, and everybody was glad to have him back, especially Bill Garnier. Hey, Joe. Hey, Bill. Good to see you, pal. You too. What the hell are you doing back here? I had to make sure you were on top of things. You're on top of things? Almost every single one of these guys has been hit at least once. Except for Ali, he's a two-timer. He so landed on broken glass in Normandy and got peppered by a potato masher in Holland. He got a piece of exploding tank in Holland. And George Luz here has never been hit. And Lee got a skinny little guy. He got pink to the neck in Holland. And right next to him, that other skinny little guy, that's Popeye. He got shot in his scrawny little butt in Normandy. And, uh, <laughs> Buck got shot in his rather large butt in Holland. <laughs> yeah, kind of an easy company tradition getting shot in the ass. <laughs> Lipton over there. He got Tradition, oh god. To Karen Dan. Wouldn't drink too much if I were you. Hey, be careful if he offers you a cigarette. What are they talking about? <laughs> if who offers us a cigarette? Lieutenant Spears. Because he shot the people. You ever smoke? You? <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> Everyone's like... Fuck, you better be okay. Where's Marlarkey? Uh oh, his legs. <laughs> I need my helmet. You hear that? Hey, Joe! I ain't gonna get up. Man, he's gonna make me cry, dude. Come on, Joe. Come on, buddy. Oh. Come on. I gotta get my helmet! Mechanic! I gotta get my helmet! Mechanic, Joe! Oh, this is horrible! Hey! Slow down! Gunno! You're gonna get bombed! Come on! Come on! Move the no. Hold on! I'll be there! I'm gonna help you! Oh, no! Medic! Did you, you want okay? to let Joe go, man? Trying to come through. You gotta smoke. Whatever you say, Doc. Whatever you say. Over here. Did I beat you back to the States? The men are good, sir. They're prepared. I'm gonna be leading second platoon tomorrow. They're probably the weakest after losing Toy and Garnier and Muck and Pankala. Lieutenant Dyke is an empty uniform, Captain. He's not there, sir. Well, he's gonna be there tomorrow. Yes, sir. I understand he will be there physically. But tomorrow's gonna be the real deal. And he's gonna have to lead those men. He's gonna have to make decisions, sir, and I... I gotta tell you, sir, I think he's gonna get a lot of easy company men killed. Lieutenant, what's the plan? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! You better get Dyke on that radio to me now! Do you want to go around right and attack the village by itself? We will provide suppressing fire! How you doing, Bracani? They shot me in my ass, boys! I think we're on fire, man! Can you locate? Garnier said that was tradition, right? He was ready to go out there. The easy company, but Spurs, get yourself over here! Get out there and relieve Dyke and take that attack on in! First platoon tried to end around, but they're stretched out. They're pinned down by a sniper. I believe he's in the building with the cave in roof. All right, I want mortars and grenade launchers on that building till it's gone. When it's gone, I want first to go straight in. Forget going around. Everybody else follow me. Yes, sir. didn't shoot at it. I think they couldn't quite believe what they were seeing. The astounding thing was that after he hooked up with I Company, he came back. Look at him go. We took over a hundred German prisoners. After that, it was mostly criminal. Why can't we just... Come on, come on. <laughs> Where is he? Second floor, building on the right. Don't miss Shifty. There. 
Oh my god. Mellet, Heron, Sawasco, and Ken Webb were killed by a sniper. There would have been more if it hadn't been for Shifty Powers. You hit bad, Perconti? Beautiful wound, Lip. Shot me right through my ass. You hang tough. You true about Dyke? Yeah. Thank God for small mercies, huh? Well, that's what he said. And they still let him go out, even though he's like, I don't the town of Foy, trust the him. Part of we spent our night in Rashamp in a convent. It was the first time we'd spent a night indoors in a month. The sisters there brought in their choir to sing for us. It was heaven. You ever notice with stories like that, everyone says they heard it from someone who was there. And then when you ask that person, they say they heard it from someone who was there. It's nothing new, really. I bet if you went back 2,000 years, you'd hear a couple of centurions standing around him yakking about how Tertius lopped off the heads of some Carthaginian prisoners. Maybe that's because Tertius knew there was some value to the men thinking he was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole Roman Legion. <laughs> They're happy to have a good leader, I guess. Well, from what I've heard, they've always had one. I've been told there's always been one man they could count on. Every day kept the spirits up, kept okay. the men focused, gave them direction. All the things a good combat leader does. You don't have any idea who I'm talking about, do you? No, sir. Hell, it was you for a sergeant. Ever since Winter's made battalion, you've been the leader of Easy Company. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Damn, he fine. So that means that we're probably gonna see Spears a lot more than in the next episodes. If he's the new CEO of uh, hey, look, Easy Company. First battalion. That's stunning. Oh, this one was tough. Yep, it actually was. The breaking point was truly a point where everything was falling apart. So I understand that. the name of it, obviously. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this with me. I am sorry if there's been some issues. You know, it's not easy for me to get these episodes out. I want to say thank you to everyone for being so incredibly patient. And thank you for everyone that has been supporting me throughout this entire year. I don't know if this is coming out before or after New Year's. But I want to say thank you so incredibly much for this year. I It's insane. We started this channel with 100 subscribers at the beginning of this year. Like in January, we were at like 63 or something and my goal was 200 subscribers and right now as i'm looking over to my screen on the left side we're at 19,920, and it's like it's absolutely amazing and it's crazy what this year has brought by and i want to say thank you to everyone thank you from the bottom of my heart for wanting to get to know me for being a part of my journey and wanting to spend time with me obviously i think that's it <laughs> weird that you guys want to spend time with me <laughs> if you want to watch my full reaction to this episode you can find it over on patreon and if you'd like to connect with me in other platforms you can find me on instagram twitter twitch and discord everything is linked down below and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys